Hey everybody, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin, and we're today we're showcasing another ruler of the new set of the Underworld of Secrets. It is our boy Reinhardt, and the deck is called the Ether Revolt, and it is a super fun little deck. Uh, one of our dudes and locals has it. Uh, he loves Reinhardt, and it's a, it's a really, really strong deck if you get it going. Uh, and so for those that do not know Reinhardt, he is the blue-black ruler. Uh, partner to Moonchild, EX area, possession. So we start the game, you get into a possession area. Um, and then if an ethereal charisma you control will be put into a graveyard from the field, you may put into possession area instead. Apply this effect only once per turn. So one dude that dies, you get a free possession dude. And the reason that's cool is because like a lot of your dudes do things in the possession area. Um, the other two rulers we're using, the moon childs we're using, is Child of the Ethereal Moon, which helps you literally set up what you need to do. Uh, so it gives you an extra possession area, so you have three. Uh, Rest or Covered Stone out of blue or black. And then Spirit of the Ethereal Moon, Banish the Resonator. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Put one in your hand, one in your e graveyard, and one in your EX area. So it literally just gives you an extra P EX area, and it sets one up in there. So you get free value out of all of that. And you're already sacrificing the dude to get even more value. It's kind of disgusting. Uh, and then we're playing the old Green Moon Child, which is just pay zero counter target spell that was played without paying will because you don't want free spells being played against you. Uh, his contract is Soul Absorption. It's a blue and a black. Uh, quick cast, choose one. J resonates your opponent control. Get minus six, minus six until the end of turn. Or you may put any number of their resonators from your graveyard into your possession EX area. If there are three more there, you may contract with Reinhardt. So it's pretty easy to get. You just gotta have three dudes in your graveyard to do it. Uh, and then Ethereal King. He's a 410, Swiftness Flying Bane. When this card attacks, you may put a Theo Resonator from your possession area into the field. It gains swiftness until the end of turn. Whenever an Theo Resonator attacks, you untap Reinhardt. So you literally just get to free attack over and over and over. So each dude you swing with, he untaps and swings again. So the turn you want to do that, you just want to be able to win. Like, the turn you want to contract, you want to be able to win. Uh, one of our first boys in the deck is the Waterfront Demon. He is a big engine of the deck. He is a blue for a 4 4 flyer. Banish a Resonator. Put two one counters on this. If it's ethereal, you put four counters on it. And banish an ethereal resonator. Put this card from your graveyard into the field. So he literally is just there to help get bigger. And if he stays in play, he takes over the game really, really quickly. Just because you're like, cool, banish a dude. Trigger possession stuff. Get free value. Get pluses. And I'm a big flyer. Um, and then we have our first ethereal. The ethereal princess. She is one black for a four, four. It's plus two, plus two for each other ethereal J resonator you control in the field and in your possession EX area. N nuts. Uh, pay zero. This card does 200 damage to target player or J resonator. Place ability only once per turn. And when this card leaves the field, your opponent discards a card. There's nothing wrong with this creature for one mana. Like, if you're playing ethereals, you play this chick. That's just what she is so super good at. She's an SR for a reason. Because she just is a huge body. She's usually like a 10-10, which is kind of nuts. And then she can pay zero to, to ping a person or a thing. And what makes this so good is later you can give her Bane. So you're just like, cool, kill that dude, kill that dude, kill that dude. Dexia, the Ethereal Twin Prince. He has a blue and a black for 6-6 six, six quick cast. Uh, his determination is his like ability. As long as it's in the field or in your or your possession EX area, first time each turn, an automatic ability with a trigger condition. When this card leaves the field of an Ethereal Resonator Control that does not share a name with a card with, with trigger, it triggers twice instead. Each turn, only one of these can trigger up, is applied. So, the first one that dies that doesn't already have a trigger doubles, is essentially what that is. And then his enter, you may put an Ethereal Resonator from your hand into the field, then banish it if you do draw a card. So he literally triggers it the turn he comes into play. And when he leaves the field, you expand your EX area by one space until the end of the game. He is like the bread and butter card of the deck because he doubles all your EX triggers and he literally gives you more. Uh, then we have some of the spells. The, the Dexia's Ethereal Sword is one black quick cast. Put an Ethereal Resonator from Graveyard into your possession area, draw a card. Or you may put Ethereal from your hand into the field, then banish it if you do your opponent banish the Resonator. So you're doing double duty. You're literally filling up your EX area to do things and kill a dude, or you get to draw cards. So pretty good for one mana regardless of what you're doing mausoleum of the rune nation is a blue and a black ethereals you control get plus two plus two pay blue discard this draw a card pay a black discard this your opponent's dudes get minus two minus two banish an ethereal resonator put this card from graveyard into the field again it helps you set up your ethereals 
or it helps you set up your possession area and it gives all your three wheels plus two plus two and it can be done from the graveyard so it's a free just let's put this in the graveyard get free value so you don't really lose anything from it and then we have ethereal lamentations is a blue and a black as initial cost to play this card put x cards from your possession area into your graveyard choose up to two draw x cards your opponent discards x cards or your opponent banishes x resonators so it's just a big like a big one-time gotcha and it's it's a really good one because you either draw cards kill dudes or make them discard and it's yeah you're losing dudes from your possession area but you don't really care the turn you're doing it uh, and then other cards we have in the deck, we have Lorite, and then Witch of the Fallen Kingdom, because stopping your opponent from doing things is great. Uh, the four ethereals we have is the Defense Trooper, which if he's in your ethereal area or your possession area, you prevent four damage from the first. Like, if damage will be dealt to you, prevent 400 of it, as long as this card's there. Uh, when it leaves the field, you draw a card. The Vampire, when he's in your possession, gives you Drain. And when he loses the field, he deals six to your opponent, you gain six. Uh, ethereal Dog, when he's in your possession, if something hits you you can remove him to kill it and then when he leaves the play you put the top two into your graveyard and then the witch she gives all your dudes bane as long as she's in the possession and when she leaves the field your opponent banishes the resonator so all of them do something when they die and they give you more value in the possession area which is super super strong uh and then lastly we have ethereal attack uh two black put resonator from possession area into the graveyard rather than pay his cost destroy target dude so you remove a dude kill a dude pretty good uh, the stones are really, really simple. We're playing all the Scry Stones, or the 4 C Stones, uh, Darkness Moon Fragment, Wind Moon Fragment, and Secret Stone, just because, you know, 4 C is really strong, and if you can do that over a Dual Stone, you might as well. Uh, this deck is super fun. Dude's played it a lot. He really enjoys playing it, and it's a really good deck in our locals, so go ahead and check it out, and let us know what you think about it down below. We'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Make sure you subscribe to our channel guys and hit that like and then also click that bell so you get all the updates and notifications on our channel and then send us any comments down below so we make sure we get them. And just to remind you that we are actually streaming on Twitch now where we do all our deck brawls and also video game content. And also remind you that we do have a Patreon and we like to go ahead and thank Patreons. So thank you. We love you. Boom.